<laughs> All right, y'all, welcome back to Philly D's Garage. Um, today I got a real quick uh, product review. Um, I got the Rigid uh, 7 inch angle grinder, part number R10202. Um, so, as y'all can see, this thing is massive. Okay, uh, 15 amps, 7 inches. See how big this wheel is. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's way different from what I'm used to using. Like I've used a four inch angle grinder before, which is like half this size. Um, or like regular die grinders that I use in automotive. So this is something like, I don't know, it's different to me, it's new to me. So I've had it for a couple of weeks now. I used it a few times and this thing is crazy strong. So real quick, I'm just gonna show y'all what this thing uh, can do. So first, um, you got this shield here uh, and you can rotate it with this little lever here. Press it down and it goes wherever you want it to go. All right, whatever direction you want it in. Um, and then uh, this handle here, like I, I saw the reviews before I bought it. So I was kind of, I was real, like more excited about this one than any other one I've seen. So with this handle here, you don't have to use the handle. Um, it will be better if you do because you have more control. But this handle can be put into three different spots. Here, here, and here. Three different spots. Um, so whichever way you're, uh, you got this thing turned, this thing could be in that position. And then also on top of that, like this handle can turn in three different three or four different positions also. So you just hit this lever here and you can turn this thing whichever way you want it to go. You know, so if, you, if you're grinding like this, you can hold it like this. If you need to go this way and you need the trigger to go down, turn it that way. And then obviously, however you got the handle on this end, you know which way to put this handle on the other end, all right? So I found that kind of cool. Like, I mean, you could basically hold this thing however you need to, however you need to hold this thing. Um, then it has this little lever here. You press this and this allows you to lock this. So you can use your tool that it came with and you can, you can see the holes right here. Make sure you guys can see that. So you see the holes here. And you lock your tool in here like this. While you got it locked here. And then you tighten it. And that's basically how you get it. Your uh, blade on and off just like that. Um, yeah, so this is the first time I've ever owned one of these things. Uh, I don't know. I got it. I'm still getting used to it myself. Like this thing is is, is beefy. Like it's it's not it's not something that uh, that you use in the automotive every day. Um, so this is something I got to get used to. So if you're a mechanic and you never use one of these, you might have to get used to it also. But it's pretty loud. Um, it's pretty loud also. So that's something else that you gotta. Uh, get used to how loud it is um, I don't have nothing this loud out of all the stuff that I have so that's how you put it back on just hold the button and you can tighten it down make sure it's tight I could turn it on for you guys but I gotta plug it up um, but yeah man this thing is pretty beefy uh, I use it to cut grind whatever it is i'm doing um pretty pretty much like stuff around the house because obviously this thing is too damn big to be like working on a car with um you know they got smaller uh uh they got smaller uh grinders uh to work on a car with so um yeah um 
Let me see if I can uh, get this thing plugged up real quick and I'll show you guys, at least turn it on for you and let you see how, how it sounds. One second. All right, so I plug it up real quick into the outlet. Um, just got a piece of wood real quick so I can show y'all uh, what it sound like. So I'm gonna just do a quick cut real quick. I used uh, two vice grips just to hold uh, my piece of wood there. Um, so yeah, let's cut it real quick. Mount it up. It's gonna be loud, y'all. And I and I put my handle where I want the handle at. I got the switch turned uh, where I want the handle. At. So I got both handles uh, in the position I want, and uh, let's go. That thing is crazy loud. So, as y'all can see, it almost got through there, but I didn't want to keep going because um, this table is really not that uh, sturdy right now. I'm just doing something else right now. So, um, but y'all can see it cut, cutting through there pretty easy as it should. It's just wood. Um, so yeah, man, just wanted to give y'all a quick review on this rigid. Uh, angle grinder this thing is pretty strong <laughs> and it's pretty loud um, most of them are but um, yeah it's ported I did want a, um, a portable one but I, I'm not really going I'm not I didn't I don't really need one portable so I went with this one it was a little cheaper um, but it's to get the job done and again man out of all the angle grinders that I looked at I think this was the most versatile one like it, it just have so many options and angles that you can use this thing um with the different positions that it allows you to put your handles in y'all i think that's kind of crazy but um yeah y'all quick review if y'all liked it comment below let me know if you got one let me know how you like it uh leave your comments hit the like button share subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one